Hi, this is Damon Tordini with Hawkridge Systems. I'm here to show the new free surface functionality that's been added to SolidWorks Flow Simulation 2018. SolidWorks Flow Simulation is the built-in computational fluid dynamics tool for SolidWorks, and engineers use this tool to analyze a variety of industrial equipment, such as tanks, valves, or manifolds, to figure out what the performance characteristics of those products will be early in the design process. For example, I've got this tank here that uh, is meant to be filled with water. And to simulate something like this, I'm going to need to mix water that's being poured into the empty tank that's going to start out filled with air. This type of a problem was not possible in previous versions of SolidWorks because while we could mix fluids, we could only mix them if they were the same phase. For example, gases and gases or liquids and liquids. But all that has changed with the new free surface functionality that's been added for 2018. When you're setting up a wizard in SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation, there's a new option called free surface, which when we check the box, will allow us to simulate this kind of a mixture and also requires us to do what we call a time dependent simulation to see how those surfaces flow and develop over time. When the checkbox has been enabled and we go to the fluids tab, You'll see that now we can add both air, which is a gas, and water, which is a liquid, or any other gases or liquids, into the same project under the default fluid type of immiscible mixture, meaning they can occupy the same fluid volume, and the liquid does not have to be bound by the walls of the model. When we enable this free surface functionality, we also have to choose in our boundary conditions which fluid we want to assume is entering or leaving the system. For example, here I've got an inlet volume flow rate of 500 gallons per minute. And under the substance concentrations menu, I simply select water to make sure that this inlet will only show water coming in. And of course, the tank is going to start out empty, which is something I would specify under my initial conditions. For free surface problems like this, we want to make sure we have a very detailed mesh to capture the shape of that surface. And when we run the analysis and load up the results, we'll be able to show, among other parameters, things like the volume fraction of the water. And utilizing the transient explorer capability for any time-dependent study in flow simulation, we can get a nice smooth animation of this filling process and also changing the color scheme of the plot to this nice white to blue color scale. When we look at the animation, we can see that, of course, the water shoots out of the inlet quickly and gradually fills up the tank. In this case, the length of our simulation is 30 seconds. As always, now we can simply make a change to the model in SolidWorks and see what the effect on our simulation is. Here I've made another revision to the tank where I lowered the inlet to see if that changes the time or the pressure that it takes to fill up the tank. Of course, the results for any project can be looked at side by side with the compare tool in SolidWorks Flow Simulation. And in this case, we can see not only the cut plot side by side, but also the goals that I have defined which in this case are the total pressure at the inlet and the volume fraction of water in the total tank. We can see a slight difference. It takes a little bit more pressure at the beginning to start filling up the tank when I've lowered the inlet and it becomes submerged earlier. So the new free surface functionality enables all the same benefits that you're used to with SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation on a much wider range of problems now. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel and our Hawkridge Systems blog for all the new enhancements in SolidWorks 2018. Thanks for watching.